Hey everyone, me again. So uh, today I wanted to record a video on using Epify and Clay together to build some interesting data sets for uh, mostly local businesses, um, in this case for restaurants. So the reason why I'm recording this video is because Clay announced um, this week, I think, that they now have a native integration with Epify. Now I've been at Epify um fan and user for probably a couple of years now uh but for a while um and i just wanted to show you how how great they are and how you can use them together with clay um without you know without having to jump too much between different tools and it can help you build some really uh, interesting data sets it can help you save some clay credits because we all know they're not cheap um and it should help you pretty drastically improve your Called outreach results. So, um, for those of you who aren't familiar, Epify is a scraping uh, solution. So they offer these different scrapers that their community can build, and you can rent them. Um, so they have like Google Map scrapers, Apollo scrapers, uh, Instagram scrapers, web scrapers, etc. And anyone can use their, let's say, framework to build their own scraper, and then um host that here on on their you know their store and then others can use that um that that, that scraper so there's a lot here um today like, i'm not going to go through all of them definitely take um a couple hours because they're 1500 to check it out for yourself but today we are going to work for uh an imaginary client uh, i found this company called jobtoday.com um and they're you know they help you find jobs um, get hired, etc. So we're going to build an imaginary campaign for them. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for restaurants who um, are hiring, and we're going to help them um, help them find you know the right employees using Job Today. So a couple of angles that um, that I explored. Now I wanted to um, first test this angle, which I saw from. Um, Jordan Crawford, which I thought was pretty cool. I have it on my other screen. Um, so basically, it will help you find restaurants that are expanding. So I'm not going to go into the entire um, search right here, how this works. Uh, you can check out his video if you want. He will explain all that. Um, but basically, you will find companies or restaurants in this case that have a lot of locations that are coming soon. So... Um, uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. So they have, okay, in uh, Mason City coming soon, Omaha coming soon. So these could potentially be great fits for a platform like Job Today because, um, well, they're going to need to hire a lot of staff uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So um, I think it's a great angle. The thing is that um, it doesn't give you a lot of results. So it says here like 760 more results. But it only has you know, this first page, um, and you know there are not that many in the end. Um, so uh, it's a great angle, I think. You know, imagine your job today. You're a sales rep there. Uh, you should do this manually and just reach out to these um, accounts manually while you have the campaign that I'm building right now running in the background. So um, this is the campaign that we're launching. It's nothing too fancy, just honestly a really straightforward campaign. Um, now we can get a lot more fancy with this, but I wanted to build something pretty quickly just to show you guys how you can use Appify and Clay together without getting just too deep into it and too fancy. But it's um, it's a campaign that, you know, it's going to perform that I'm, I'm really sure of. And still it has some really interesting personalization. So um i first name saw you were looking to urgently find a job title to help and there will have a bit of ai personalization we have over sixty thousand experience local location staff on the platform they're actively looking for this or that role most of them can start soon best part is and this is sort of their unique selling point you can chat with them um uh, so that's version one version two starts the same we have um over sixty thousand. most of them can start asap um, this company who are in East Village. So you can map this. So as you're building your list, you can map this. Say, okay, um, if this is a restaurant, then find a restaurant testimonial. Um, or you can look for coffee places. Um, and so, you know, uh, I would do that at the base level. So first make a list of coffee places that are hiring. So you can use Sammy Else Coffee as your, let's say, case study. 
uh, or one line case study that make a list of restaurants. You can take a restaurant and then ideally you also split it up by location, which isn't very hard. So you find their their area, their zip code, whatever. We're over in this or that location. They hired their job title in 36 hours. And the last one, um, you can also, so if you go to the website here at job today, they have, you know, this staff that you can explore that, um, that are, you know, kitchen support, whatever. Um, obviously, you know, if you sign up, you can get more so, or if you actually own jobs today, then you can say, Hey, these are great candidates that you can use. I just use this as an example saying, Hey, those you're looking towards you, you know, the, the opening is the same. Would you be interested in chatting with Paul, who is a former job title at Whole Foods or Joe, former job title like Crown Plaza? So ideally, you know, this would be the exact same job title. So you can map that against our database. So you're er looking to urgently find a server. So here's, you know, or cashier. So here's Paul. He's a former cashier at Whole Foods. And then, you know, in a perfect world, you would also map whatever case study you're using to, okay, imagine you're reaching out to a restaurant. You obviously want to have a restaurant in here. If you can map it to their location, so it's a competitor of theirs, then, hey, phenomenal. But that's probably a bit of overkill. Um, so would you be interested in, in chatting with this and that person? They and then over 60,000 others are actively looking for a job like this or that. The chances are they can start really soon. So straightforward campaign. Um, nothing too crazy going on here. I will show you in just a second how crazy we can actually get thanks to Epify. Um, but this is the campaign that we're building now. So um, without further ado, let's jump in and actually build the campaign. So um, I already ran the, the actor because otherwise you would have to wait for it. Um, so I used this actor right here from Curious Coder has some really interesting goals and he also on YouTube. So look him up. I think he's a web scraping expert on YouTube. So he built the Indeed scraper. Um, and let me see. Um, the reason why I chose this one over other ones because they have the, excuse me, he has the scrape company pages option, which actually goes into the page and that saves you an additional step. Uh, I tried it with other ones, but actually then getting the company website and company details from that company page is a bit of a pain in the ass. So um, if you enable this button, then, you know, you get the details from the company and it gives you some phenomenal options for personalization, as you'll see in just a second. Um, the, you know, the settings, uh, I'm not going to get too technical here. It's all straightforward. So you just get a job. I look for restaurants in New York um, that are hiring on Indeed and then you know scrape those and then uh we're going to import that data set so here in clay you want to go to new table then go down here pull data for epify actor and then let's just get a one from specific run um then indeed let's see if the run is still in there it is that's good so we're getting the data set in here and it'll take a minute, won't take 30 minutes. So the cool part is that you can set, so the actors in Appify, you can run them know, every day, for example. So imagine you wanted to keep a specific data set updated. So you want to make sure, okay, whenever a new company is hiring on Indeed, I immediately want to get it into Clay. You can do that with this because you can have an auto update and uh, it will just pull in, you know, whatever you're scraping. So. Uh, this is a set and forget type thing. You can set this table up, sync it to smart lead, and it will just add new leads to the campaign over time. And you can um, just simply collect the leads. So um, we want to expand this. So there's a couple of things that we want to get from that Appify record. Uh, let me just really quickly delete these columns because we're not going to use them. There we go. Just keeping things clean. So then in here we want, so there's a title, but we want the norm title, so normalized title that's a bit more clean. So we want to add that as norm title, sure that works. Then the snippet, we could potentially use that for personalization. Expire, we want to make sure that is false. So we're adding that. Um, then company name, we obviously want that. Then um, sponsor, we also want that. And I will show you why in just a second. Then the job link, don't want that. Um, 
let me see company rating um i'm not going to get that but you can use that to say okay uh, i'm only going to reach out to company with a good rating or actually reach out to company with a bad rating because they're less likely to hire from indeed because candidates will pr probably pass on them um so actually i'll add that and i will show you how i would use it in clay then um so salary snippets who want to get the salary here we could potentially use that for personalization or for scoring then uh ceo name like um yeah like in some cases if it's a big company like doesn't really do anything but for smaller companies interesting then company website we most definitely want then job description we also definitely want because we can use that for some cool ai stuff then uh remote like urgently uh, this one is important so urgently hiring we definitely want and then let me see so here um the i don't think there are a lot that we still want no so what i'll show you now is some of the really cool stuff that you can do with this so here i skipped over it just now um so you have um let's see company details where are you you're here so under company details you have for example the uh, faq section right so faqs they already did all the hard work for you that i would usually probably use ai for or advanced web scraping or whatever check this out um is joe and the jews hiring now yeah they're hiring for tw 28 open jobs all right thanks indeed um is it hard to get a job and it's easy okay we could use that if we wanted to uh, what is the hiring process like uh, it takes about a day or two the interview experience rate is average if this doesn't get you excited about you know setting up personalization and coming up with different angles then then uh, you should check your pulse um then about the ceo we already knew that how many employees they have great thank you um where are the headquarters and um then you know about covid so it's like the headquarters that type of thing okay that's information that we could potentially use but the interview process and how hard it is to get hired and what the process looks like um that is all you know phenomenal information especially in this case so here for example they say the interview process takes about a day or two we can get that information using ai we can say extract how much the interview process how long the interview process takes we can even just use a regular formula for that um and then if the regular interview process takes long we could say you know i know it takes you long to find the right candidate we can help you shorten that if it takes short we want we want to make sure that we pitch a different angle and we don't just focus on saying um hey with us you can hire really quickly they already do that instead we can say hey i know we know you like to hire quickly uh, so with job today you can actually chat with people and we already have a bunch of candidates lined up so you can hire you know instead of two days or one day whatever so there's a lot of different angles you can use here that uh, they get me really excited so um a lot of different so then there is the q a section so there's a lot of um questions that people are asking so popular questions let me see um what is a typical day like for you at the company um then there's a bunch of answer, answer but we want to have the the top answer there we go so a barista from the new york location um c mentioned that it's super busy it can only be fun if you have cool co-workers and just a good and just a good positive environment so you have a bunch of so you know exactly how their employees feel about their company or what's going on internally um how long the hiring process take you have all that information you can use that for personalization you can use that for scoring you can use that for a million different things probably if not two million um so this is just a really cool scraper from appify that gets you a ton of different data um i'm not doing it justice with the basic campaign that i set up here but um still it's a great starting point and the good thing about this campaign is not every company is going to have um this much data so for the smaller companies they're not going to maybe have the q a not so you want to make sure you have a campaign that really covers you know your base there your base there as well so that's why uh, we went with a bit more one of the other reasons why we went with a bit more of a simple campaign 
Um, so for now, we're not going to be using that. I will do a, a different video on that and how you could be using that. But for now, we have this right here, which is already pretty darn interesting. So um, one quick thing that I wanted to show you is, um, so there's the norm title. Let me see. Uh, we want to create an AI snippet and I want to show you some scoring. So um, we can add, and Clay has that built in which is pretty cool. So you add an enrichment and you look for score. And I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how it works. So uh, score row in clay. Then I want to, for example, um, go with, you know, um, let's just go with two different criteria. Now we'll actually do it. We're here now, right? So values to score. So you say, okay, um, what is that? Company rating, company rating um, between and then let's see uh zero and three so if the company rating is between zero and 3.1 just to capture three as well then they might have issues hiring because people are going to think man that company uh has really poor reviews i'm not even going to bother applying so in that case you want to add you know 1.2 their score for example just for the sake of having an example in there then criteria number two then if, and there's a field and it, it doesn't show here because this is on top of it, but I think it's urgently hiring. There we go. If that equals true, then add another point. There we go. Um, and then you could uh, run, it's free. So run setting doesn't really matter. And then we just want to get the score, save and run the first 10 rows. So if it's a company with poor reviews, and they're urgently hiring like this company right here. Let me see, what is that, Citarella? Um, Citarella Operating LLC, they're urgency, urgently um, looking for someone with prior food related work experience, but they have poor reviews. And so, you know, they're gonna have some issues finding someone even though they're urgently hiring. So that's the type of company, again, I could potentially put into the manual bucket uh, that I send to my sales rep. So if, for example, their score is above X, um, automatically send them to my sales rep, assign them to my sales rep and HubSpot. If it scores below X, then send them to Smartly to the different campaigns and buckets that I have. So that's how I would use scoring. So let's get our AI flow on. Let me see. So let's use AI. Um, and then uh, job description. Do you want to use job description? Um, let me actually use this, the snippet. So uh, from this snippet, extract one main um, responsibility, the, the person being hired for this job will have. Um, Provide your answer in one, one, sing, one single lowercase sentence only. Here is the snippet. Now it is not a phenomenal prompt, but it will you know serve as a good example. So we want to make sure we add examples. Um, let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Well, actually. I'm going to go with the uh, with the job description from this job description. Extract what? There we go. And then here we want to go with slash job description. There we go. So um, fast growing company, full time staff. Uh, your training will focus on. Let me see. Uh, to help prepare fresh juices and and attend staff in a friendly manner. Not great, but you know, just for the sake of this video, then let me see. Uh, this is actually bad fit. So here we go. Um, serve your famous Italian dish, Italian restaurant in a friendly manner to I don't know it's a, it is an awful one but just to have examples in there right um and then let me see 
let's get one more example in there because usually three examples are pretty good. So um, let me see to help um, run the bar um, and way, yeah, in a professional way at your upcoming events. Also not great, but it's an example. Um, then here, the so use your own key model. It will automatically assign to 3.5 and that should be good enough. Um, and then, you know, you want to have some conditionals in here to only run it if the job description is above a certain amount of characters, for example, that type of thing, or and if it's not empty. Um, not going to do that for now because I'm just doing it for the video. So that will give us the main responsibility. And let's rename that to um, AI line, for example. There we go. So then we have these lines here, right? So we can um, we can use this for here. There we go. Then um, that's pretty much it, I think. So the job title, we have it. Only thing you would want to do is you want to, uh, let me see where is that mom title. You want to have a lowercase only. So for that in clay, you would use a formula. So you would say formula uh, and I'm lazy. So I'm just going to use the AI um, return this. The input is uh, norm title in lowercase only generate formula. Okay, that looks great. Then let's see location. Um, well, we we scrape by New York, so on Indeed you could say, okay, let me um, grab different URLs. So I'm going to go with different neighborhoods in in New York, for example, and then that way I know, okay, if it's this data set is that location, uh, you can actually set it up on Appify, or you can get your you know your companies here, um, and you can. Uh, you can enrich them and see what their exact location is. You can do it using Google Maps, for example, to get their exact address, their exact location. Um, but or you just go with New York, which is really broad, but you know, um, it, it will work in this case. Then for this one, so um, like the job title, this we already have. So then, uh, obviously, uh, this you know these are just some random examples that we took. And this works. So let's fill in one of these templates just to um, see what that looks like. So let's go with this one, for example. Um, I saw your urgency looking to find a, um, let's see, a server. Server two, and there we go. And there we go. All right. So, hi, John. So you're looking to already find a server to help serve customers with a friendly and welcoming attitude. Uh, would you be interested in chatting with Paul, who is a former, I mean, Wolf, Whole Foods doesn't have servers, I think, but you know what I said earlier in the video. Uh, former server, this and that. Are you looking for server or similar jobs? So, um uh, the, the, so this sentence we will want to add it there, actively looking um, to work as a server. Um, let's see. They are on our site, actively looking to work as a server. Uh, chances are they can start within the next 24, 72 hours up for a chat. So that's that. So that's what that email would look like. Uh, you can set this up pretty quickly and it's, you know, pretty personalized already. Um, and you can do the same with here. So, you know, so you're looking to urgently find a server to help serve customers with a friendly and welcoming attitude. We have over 60,000 experienced New York local staff on our platform actively looking for um um, to work as a server or in similar roles that I would change a little bit. Most of them, they can start ASAP. 
Samiel's Coffee Hill over in East Village hire their server within 36 hours after chatting with them through our app. Interesting posting your job by job today to see who's ready to join company name. So company name we have. Um, let me see in here. So we could use Clay. They have, um, let me see, an enrichment and um, normalize, I believe. Um, normalize company name and then company name is in, where are you? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, there we go, company. And there we go. Oh, sorry, let me just normalize case. Yes, sure. And then I just want the normalized name and then run that. So we use that um, in the company name Merck tag. So they clean that up for us. Um, so we have these emails that we can send out right now that are, you know, that are great, that are personalized. And then um, because we set up this table with the scoring model and because we have this other um, strategy as well, we can also, so we can set this up in the background and we can keep that scraper running for different locations and we can run that every single day. And then new companies will come in here. Um, the AI lines will be automatically written for them. Um, so will all the other formulas be done for them. And then we can automatically add them either A to HubSpot and assign them to our sales rep if their score is above you know, three, for example, because these are the main accounts that could benefit the most from us and they're most likely to want to work with job today. Um, and then if the score is below three, they can go into smartly into the different campaigns that we have, and then they can go into different buckets there. So that's how you can use Clay with Appify um, to set up personalized called Arwis campaigns. Um, I didn't go into finding the contact information that you can obviously do in Clay, or you can just um, use an external API for that, or you can get the website in here and you can drop them into Apollo. There's, a hundred different ways you can find uh, contact information, uh, either for the local restaurant or at their HR department. So I won't go into that um, probably in the next video. But for now, this should give you an idea of on how to build that solid account list that will help you reach out to companies that need your solution the most um, and that need it most urgently using Appify and Clay. So if you like that video, let me know and I will uh, create a couple more videos on using Appify with Clay for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.